Are you frustrated with messy scattered data from different worksheets, making it impossible to analyze and blend efficiently? Imagine turning that chaos into a streamlined dataset literally in minutes. Stick around and I'll show you how to combine data from different worksheets using Excel Dynamic Array Formula. Hi, my name is Lynn and I'm a data analyst and automation expert with experience in banking and logistic industry. And welcome to my channel, where I share plenty of tips and tricks that help you to supercharge your productivity and reclaim valuable hours in your day. Subscribe to my channel if you want to level up your skill and become the hero in your office. In this series, we'll be helping Excel Bobati a popular property chain that recently opened five new stores and they want to assess the overall store performance for better planning and hiring next year. The problem is each of their stores reports the employee's timesheet data differently and that's creating a mess that's nearly impossible to analyze. So our mission is to transform this messy data into a nice and clean data set ready for analysis. In today's videos, we will start by understanding the messy data that we're dealing with. Then I'll introduce you to VStack function, a dynamic array formula in Excel that allow us to combine data from multiple different worksheets into one master sheet effortlessly. I will walk you through a step-by-step -step demo on how to use VStack for basic data combination and we're also going to cover how to handle more complex scenario using advanced techniques like 3D referencing and combine VStack with other array formula to dynamically filter and sort data. Before we start, you can download the data file in the link in the description below and there is also a timeline to help you to navigate through all the sections of the videos. Please feel free to pause, rewind the video to follow as your speed. Ready to level up your dynamic array knowledge? Let's dive into it! This is the dataset that we will be working with today. It is the employee's timesheet for store one. We have timesheet information include the employee ID, the date and the weekday, and the status including working, holiday, and sickness. If the status is working, you can see next to it, we have the clock in and clock out time of the employee. If it is holiday or sickness, the clock in and out time will be blank. And finally, we have the approved overtime. This column is updated only by the store manager. Now in store one, we have five employee and each of their timesheet is stored in the separate worksheet with the corresponding employee ID. Now we cannot analyze this data with the current structure. We need to combine all of the information from different sheet into one master file. And we're not going to do it manually. We're going to use dynamic array formula to help us solve the problem. The first dynamic array formula that we will be using is Vista. It is a function in Excel that allow you to stack data from multiple ranges into a single range vertically. This allows you to combine data from different sheets into one master sheet effortlessly. Let me show you how. All right, I'm gonna first create a master sheet so we can combine our data together. I'm gonna name it master and I will need the column header. So copy and paste right here and adjust the width a little bit. All right, now we're going to combine our data using VStack. So type in VStack. Now the first argument in the formula is the array. So the input here is the ranges of data you want to include 
one after another. So click on the first sheet. I'm going to select the data using Control Shift arrow to the right, Control Shift arrow down to select the range, and then comma. Now go to the next sheet, employees number two, do the same, Control Shift arrow to the right, Control Shift arrow down, and hit enter. And voila, you can see that the data from sheet one and Sheet 2 has been combined and stuck together in one single range. Now I'm going to quickly format the data set. So this is number, does look good. This is date. So select the column, click Ctrl Shift 3 on your keyboard, and it will format it to date. Now these columns are time. So click Ctrl Shift two on your keyboard, and these columns will be formatted in time formats. Now everything is done just in few minutes. All right, let's have a closer look at our VStack formula. We've successfully combined data from employee number one and employee number two using the standard way of writing formula. However, as you can see, we have five employee. So now the task of writing the formula this way is getting a little bit manual because we have to manually select the data from a lot of sheets. So obviously writing formula this way is not the way to go. Is there a better way to write the formulas? Yes, it is. And let me show you another trick. So let's start over. I'm going to delete the formula here. Now type in again VStack. Now instead of selecting ranges sheet by sheet like we've done previously, now select the first sheet, which is employee number one. Now on your keyboard, hold the shift key and select employee number five, which is the last sheet in the Excel workbook. Now you see in the formula, the sheet name is referenced as from the first sheet to the last sheet that were selected, which is employee number one to employee number five. Now I'm going to simply select the range from one of the sheet. So control arrow to the right, control arrow down to select the range. And we have all the sheet name here and the ranges attached to it. Now close the bracket and hit enter. And we have our ranges stacked on top of each other, creating a nice and clean data set. Here we have employee one, and two, three, four, and five. And we've successfully combined all data from all employee with a much cleaner formula. And such method that we've just used is called 3D referencing. In other words, the ability to reference cells across multiple sheets within the same workbook. This capability is especially useful when you want to perform the same calculation across similar data sets over multiple sheets. In our case, we wanted to stack all the ranges on top of each other, but you can also use them for other calculations like sum across different months. Or in our example, Let's say if I wanted to know the total over time for store one, what I could do is to type in sum. Now select the first sheet and select the last sheet. So we have the sheet reference there and select the ranges. That is the over time and hit enter. And now we know that we have 240 hours in store one as overtime. 
store to manager just send us the employee's timesheet for their store. And look like it also has the same data structures as we have with store one. So we can definitely use 3D referencing to combine the data from both stores. Now let's have a look at our formula. I do not want to rewrite our formula again whenever new data is added. So do you think that our formula is going to work when I add new data in? So let's find out. If I'm going to select the timesheet from employees number six, drag and drop it after sheet number five here, what's gonna happen? Let's go back to our master sheet and I'm going to add a filter in here. So on your keyboard, click Control Shift L and we have the filter here. And as you can see, the data from employees number six is not added here. Our formula doesn't update it with the new data. Why is that? It is because sheet number six it outside of the selected range, which is ranging from sheet one to sheet five here. So the trick here is you have to drag and drop the new sheet in between the first and the last selected sheet. So I'm going to drag and drop sheet number six here, anywhere in between sheet one and five. Now let's check our formula again. And as you can see here, we have the data from employees number six added. So our 3D reference formula does work, but you need to pay attention where you add your new data in. Now notice that there are also some weird zero here. And what are those? And why do they appear in our data set? Let's take a closer look at our data. So notice that the data from store one, the date range is from January until December. And we have 261 record in our data. Now for store two, the date range is from April to December, and we have only 198 records. So the selected range in straw one is larger than the selected range in straw two. And that's why our formula returned the value zero here. So we need to filter these zero out from our data and preferably in a dynamic way. And the best candidate for this job is the filter function. To filter out the empty row, that is appeared zero here, we're going to wrap the filter formula around the VStack formula. So type in filter. Now for the filter formula, the first argument is the source array, which is the result from the VStax formula. The second argument is the filter criteria. So what do we want to filter here? We only want the employee ID not to be blank. So to save some time on this argument, I'm going to copy the formula we start here and paste it right here. Now we do not want all the columns in the table. We only want column A. That's the employee ID. So I'm going to adjust here into column A. Now the formula reference only the employee column. Now we need the filter condition that is employee ID different than blank. Close bracket and hit enter. And if we check it again here, 
you can see that the zero is filtered out completely from our data set. But we're not done here yet. Notice that sheet 6 is located after sheet 2. So when we're using VStack to stack our data together, the data from sheet 6 is stuck right after sheet 2. What if I want to have the data to be sorted according to the employee ID? What should I do? We could use the sort functions to sort this out. So simply wrap the existing array within the sort function. The first argument of the sort functions is the array that you want to sort. And the second argument is the sort index. Basically, which column do you want to sort? And that is the employee column, which is in the first column in the array. So I'm just going to put one. And now if we check again, employee number six should be in the last position. All right, now let's bring in the rest of the data from store two. I'm gonna drag and drop each employee right in the middle of the first and the last sheet here. And as you can see, the data is updated accordingly. Now I'm going to repeat the process for the rest of the employee in store two. As you can see, our formula picked up all the new data accordingly. We have one problem remain though, that is for the employees number 10, the column is not sorted in the right order. The weekday and the status positions are swapped. We can't really solve such complex problem with Excel's formula. So the quick fix for this issues is simply go to the original sheet, swap the column, so select the column, on your keyboard, hold the shift key, drag the column to the position that you want and release the mouse. And just like that, the data in the master files is also updated. In today's tutorial, we've seen how powerful dynamic array formula can be in Excel using the VStack functions in combination with other dynamic array formula like filter, sort, we've transformed a chaotic set of timesheet data from multiple store into a clean and consolidated dataset. This is not only save time, but it also significantly reduces the risk of error that come with manual data handling. However, while VStack is incredibly useful for straightforward data combination, it has its limitations. When dealing with more complex data transformation, like inconsistent columns orders or adding additional cleaning requirements, we need more advanced tools and that's where Power Queries come into place. And that's exactly what we'll be doing in the next videos. I'll show you how you can use Power Query to tackle these complex scenarios and take your data transformation skill to the next level. I hope you found today's tutorial helpful. If you did, please give us a thumbs up and share it with your colleagues. Please also leave a comment below if you have any questions or any topics that you would like me to cover in the futures. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more tips and tricks and supercharge your productivity. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next videos.